Hi guys, Swift here again, taking a quick look at tokens in Foundry, or more specifically, the tokens in the 3D Canvas Token Compendium, which also includes a goodly amount of 2D tokens too, and the new tag-based category browser that we're creating this month. The Token Compendium is a free module by the Ripper, so you can just grab that via the module browser like anything else, and then install it into any world you like. I've talked about these tokens briefly before, but really this collection is the kind of thing that deserves its own video. You might have noticed when you're setting up a 3D token for a player or an NPC that in the 3D section next to the 3D model field you've got several buttons and this first one opens up the token browser. This browser here is the one built into the token compendium and it's a searchable list of all the painted minis in alphabetical order with the new ones up at the top. The compendium itself actually has just under 4,000 tokens in it. Originally they were all unpainted since they were derived from STL files created by one MZ4250 intended for 3D printing. But since then, the community have been painting them up using various methods and adding them into this browser here. There's been a few contributors, including DigiDM, who we had on recently talking about animated tokens, but the vast majority have been done by one Lodame. They've got a YouTube channel where they post time lapses of their painting, and there's a Patreon as well for them painting these 3D minis, so I'll link those down below. Anyway, these tokens here. As it stands, you can search based on the name of the model, which is useful if you already know specifically what you're looking for. Say if I want a skeleton, I could just type skeleton in there, and then get all of the minis with skeleton in the name. Or if there's a specific creature that I'm looking for, I could type in, say, Aboleth. Or maybe Beholder. Or Drag. Though, Dragon also gets a few minis from Tyranny of Dragons, who are not themselves dragons, but anyway. We've had various requests though to create a browser similar to our scene and prop browsers, but for tokens. So this is what we're putting together for this one. Once it's actually released, there'll be a button over here next to the other browsers, but for now I'm just going to manually fire it off. So, similar to our other category browsers, it's organised using tabs on the left. In this case we've got humanoids, player races, by type, by class, unpainted, and top-down tokens, which is where the 2D ones are. So if I go into the Humanoids Player Races section, there's quite a few of these, so it's further subdivided into various player races. For example, if you're looking for specifically humans, you can click on human and then get just the humans. Since there are a lot of humanoids in 5e though, in the By Type section, we also have a humanoid non-PC section that just includes all humanoids, which would also include some things that you might not necessarily expect, like lycanthropes are classified as humanoids, not magical beasts, uh, goblins are humanoid, or more specifically they are goblinoids, which is just a type of humanoid, but anyway, that doesn't matter. Nerdy categorization stuff aside, the idea with the browser is that you can take a look at it if you don't know specifically what you're looking for, but you've maybe got a general idea. Or maybe you do know specifically what you're looking for, but you don't necessarily know what it's called. Like say, if I need an NPC token and I know they're a paladinly type, I could go into buy class and then paladin and then get a collection of tokens that are paladins. Or if I'm thinking like, well, the party are going to be encountering celestials, I wonder what sort of celestial tokens I have access to. You can go with the buy type and then celestial is one of the types in there. I've got a couple of angels in there right now. You can also use the box at the top to do some searching. Like if I go back and search for Dwerger, then I'll get anything with Dwerger in the name. But you can also search by tag by putting a hash in first. So if I add hash painted, then that will come up with all of the painted minis with Dwergar in the name. So if you've got a more specific idea of what you want, you can also use this search bar here for finding more specific things. So once you've found a token you like, the question is then how to use it. We've got two ways here. You can either double click on a token to go into placement mode and then place it somewhere in your scene. You can hold shift and use the mouse wheel to turn it quickly, control for fine adjustment, and then alt for scaling it up or down, and then just move it around, snap it to the grid, and then click, and you've created a new token. That token isn't assigned to an actor, but then you can assign it one as you like, as normal. The second way is if you've already got a token that's set up with like a character sheet and all that, you can select a token, like say this guy here, and then if you right click on one of these, you can click apply to selected placeable, and it will apply that model to that token 
preserving all the other information about it, like stats, character representation, that sort of thing. So if you've got a gang of goblins, but you want them to be kobolds to this scene, you could just select them all, right-click one of the kobolds and click replace with, and it would just remove the or replace the models without touching the stats. Currently, most of the tokens are not fully tagged, and the plan is to have them fully tagged by the time this releases with next month's release, but at the moment for this demo we've just got a couple of them. That's going to be especially true for the unpainted section, since there are just so many unpainted models, and a lot of them don't have tags with them. That'll be fixed in post, but for now we just have this unpainted section. A quick note about the unpainted minis, by the way. There are a lot of them. There's basically anything from the monster manual, and then a bunch of other stuff as well. But they don't have to be plain white. Like, say if I take this guy here, and place him in the scene. Then he starts out as plain white. But if I open up his configuration and go into the 3D section, there's a material drop down here. This will give you a list of materials that you can turn them into. Like say I pick wood and update the token, that'll apply a nice simple pale wood texture to him. Or I could apply, say, plastic to him and then colour him and then have him sort of like an unpainted plastic mini, like the kind of ones you might have used in board games like hero quest and that sort of thing. Something that I do find myself doing fairly often is if we go in here again and in material if we pick PBR at the bottom, uh, if I set this back to white, and then what to do is in the texture section there's a button for the material browser and then we'll find something here like say if you search rock, we'll go for rock 05 that looks nice and plain, click update token and then you've got an instant statue of any shape you like. This has been very useful for decorating, you know, underground dungeons, big dwarven monoliths, that sort of thing, where you need a very specific statue, but obviously you don't have a 3D model of one, just turn a token into it, nice and straightforward. What you can then do to add a little bit of um, authenticity is if you go into advanced and take disabled base, that'll remove the base from them and make them look a little less like a token, so the players don't think they're going to come alive and attack them even if they are. Anyway, moving on to the 2D minis, there's roughly one of these for every painted mini in the set, so there's about 1300 right now. So if you see a token that you like, and you think you want to use it in a uh, 2D scene, then there's a good chance it's in there if it's painted. The 2D tokens work the same way as the 3D ones, let me just flick over to a 2D scene real quick. There we go, we've got a nice winter scene from one of the more recent Bailiwiki updates. So in terms of using them, it works the same as the 3D minis, so you double click on one, That'll bring it into the scene. Pick a location, you can use Shift or Control to rotate them or to scale them, and then click, and that'll get them in the scene. And obviously that'll work with any of them. And what you can also do is, if you uh, have a token already, you can select that, right click on a token that you want, and then click Apply to select it placeable, and there you go. Since the 2D tokens are sort of generated from the 3D painted minis, you might find they're a little bit small, but in that case, you can just use the normal foundry uh, tools here to increase the scale a bit to match the scale of the other creature you're using. Similarly, you can change the uh, anchor point to kind of move it around inside the box if you want to get it just right. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to go over today. I think it's important that people know about this resource that they have available. Thousands of minis, both 2D and 3D. And of course, mention this token browser that we're going to be adding to the module with the next update. I would be interested as well to hear your thoughts about this. So the plan is to get everything tagged up by race and category, but I'd like to ask you guys if you can think of any other methods of organization that would be useful. If you're like DMing and you're thinking, ah, I really need this type of creature, then let me know down in the comments below or on the Discord. But for now though, I'll see you guys later.